this is what anxiety is like. I convinced myself, you know what, I'm gonna take RJ to the park by myself, which means I have to drive by myself with RJ. And I convinced myself I'm just gonna do it, have a lot of fun, I can do this. But now I'm sitting in my car, in my driveway, with RJ in his car seat. And I can't bring myself to go. Because so you keep going through all these things like what if, what if, what if, what if, what if. I hate it so much. Like my son and I literally sit at home all day. I just want to be able to take him out like other moms do, you know? But no, we normally wait until my husband wakes up because he works nights. So we wait until he wakes up to go do anything. You just get so mad at yourself. I'm sitting here, the car's on, I have my seatbelt on, and I'm just sitting in my car. I keep thinking about it and thinking about it and like I think what freaks me out the most is like you know I don't want to experiment with my anxiety with my son in the car like I feel like that's a selfish thing for me to want to do I don't want to put his life in danger just because I want to face my anxiety And this is how my brain works, you know? I would think I would be fine. Like, I would be able to do this if my husband had a way to come get us if something happened. But he does not, as his car is broke down. And my car is the only one that is drivable. So, in my head, I think if something happens, he won't be able to come get us. Which, okay, the park is literally down the road. So worst case scenario, he'd probably be able to run to us. But that would take time. So it's just like, that. this is how my brain works. This is how my anxiety works. And what things do I think are going to happen? I don't know. Like... I freak out and I have a panic attack and I'm stuck in the car. I freak out, have a panic attack and I hit somebody. I freak out, have a panic attack and I'm at the park and I can't move and RJ's around. RJ runs off and I can't get to him. It's just like, It sounds so silly, but it, I, I think what also scares me the most is that like in this situation, I'm in control, you know? Like I'm in control of his life. Yeah, I know. I know it's crazy. I'm responsible for him on my own. I'm just, I'm so scared that something will happen. Yeah. 
just thought I'd let you in on the everyday struggles of someone who has anxiety. This is the only part of my like anxiety that I still have. Just driving. So here I am, sitting in the car, trying to decide if I should go or not. And RJ is being so good. He's just chilling, waiting to go somewhere. If it was just me, it'd be different, but with him in the car, it makes it like 10 times harder to do. I don't know what I should do. And it's like the more I think about it, like the more, like the harder it gets to just go. But then like, if I just go, like, it like hits me all at once. And so like, I don't know. And we failed. I ended up just taking him to the back porch so that he could be outside. One day, one day I'll be able to do it. <laughs>